Hi. Now, I'm often asked, what do we mean by a polynomial? Well, a polynomial is an expression in maths where we've got terms of this particular type of form. That is, we've got a constant multiplied by x to the power n, where n is a positive integer. And it normally goes down in descending powers. I'll give you a few examples because this doesn't look uh, particularly easy to follow, but uh, you'd have seen many polynomials in the past, I would have thought. For instance, we've got this type of polynomial, 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. We refer to this as a quadratic, a quadratic expression or a quadratic polynomial. Here's another polynomial, 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. And what I've got here is a polynomial where it demonstrates that you don't necessarily need every term. You can miss out terms. I've missed out here the x term. And we don't always have to have pluses all the way through. It can have negatives as you can see here and here. This type of polynomial is called a cubic polynomial because the highest power is 3. In this example, we have what is called a quartic polynomial. It starts with x to the power 4. And then we start to write the other terms. In this case, 3x cubed minus 3x cubed and then plus 4x squared and minus 2x. In this example, I'm leaving off the constant on the end. And we should be familiar then with the name of this. As I say, it's called a quartic. And with polynomials, you need to know about terms. A quadratic, this quadratic anyway, has three terms. This cubic also has three terms. And this quartic has four terms. We also refer to polynomials by their degree. For this quadratic, we look at the highest power. It's of the power 2. So we talk about this as having degree 2, a polynomial of degree 2. For a cubic, it's a polynomial of degree 3. And obviously then, for a quartic, it must be a polynomial of degree 4 and so on. Now we're often called upon to work with polynomials to do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And what I've got here is an example which I would certainly encourage you to try where we've got two polynomials p and q. I've defined p as this cubic polynomial and q is this quartic polynomial. p is 2x cubed minus 5x plus 1 and q is x to the power 4 minus x. And what I want you to do is to write in descending powers of x p minus q and p multiplied by q. When I talk about descending powers of x, we're talking about giving you answers in this kind of form here, okay, where the powers go down. So, how would we do p minus q or p times q? Well, you might already be familiar with these ideas and just want to pause the video and have a go. So, I'll just give you a few moments to do that and then come back when ready and I'll run through the solutions. OK, welcome back. If you had a go, let's just see how you got on. So with 1, let's just put down p minus q as the introduction. p minus q. So this is going to be p, which we know is this cubic, 2x cubed minus 5x plus 1. And we've got to be very careful here now because minus q, don't make the mistake of just writing x to the 4 minus x. Got to put this in brackets, okay, because there's more than one term here. And so when we expand this, we've got a minus 1 here, if you like, being multiplied by each of these two terms. So we're going to have 2x cubed minus 5x plus 1 as the first three terms. And then when we expand this, we get minus 1 times x to the 4 is minus x to the 4. And then minus 1 times minus x is plus x. 
and if we group up our terms but we've got to do it in descending powers of x so we must start off with this term here minus x to the power 4 that's our highest power and then the next power will be this power 3 here so that's going to be the term 2x cubed so plus 2x cubed we have no x squared term but we have an x term here minus 5x and we can group it with the plus x so it's going to be minus 5x plus x which is minus 4x and then we've got the constant so plus 1 so there we have our polynomial it's of degree 4 called a quartic and it's written in descending powers okay so that was that one let's have a look at part 2 now p multiplied by q so just write that as pq as my introduction we'll write p then in brackets as 2x cubed minus 5x plus 1 and then we've got another bracket for the other one q x to the power 4 minus x certainly don't write this as 2x cubed minus 5x plus 1 multiplied by x to the power 4 minus x I often see that type of thing written it's not right to do that because we're only talking about the 1 being multiplied by x to the power 4 as opposed to all of p being multiplied by all of q so this is a common mistake to see this so I'll just take this out okay so how do we go about multiplying this out well in the usual way we take the first term and we multiply 2x cubed the first term with each of the terms in this next bracket and here we've got just two terms but there might be on other occasions several more terms but you still just go through 2x cubed times the first term 2x cubed times x to the power 4 is going to be 2x to the power 7 then you do 2x cubed times the next term minus x so that's going to be 2x to the power 4 so minus 2x to the power 4 then we have minus 5x and we now multiply that with each of these two terms minus 5x times x to the power 4 is minus 5x to the power 5 then we do minus 5x times minus x which is going to be plus 5x to the power 2 or 5x squared we've exhausted that now we move on to the 1 and we do 1 times each of these two terms plus 1 times x to the 4 is going to be plus x to the power 4 and then 1 times minus x is going to be minus x now we just need to group this all together and write it in descending powers of x so we've got just this term in x to the power 7 that's the highest power so 2x to the power 7 leads then we've got this term in x to the power 5 next minus 5x to the power 5 then we come down to x to the power 4 terms we've got this one here minus 2x to the power 4 plus x to the power 4 so it's going to be minus 1x to the power 4 or just simply minus x to the power 4 we've got no cubic terms so we leave that out we've got x squared terms here 5x squared only one of those so that's plus 5x squared and then we've just got the x term here minus x and no constant on the end so there's our polynomial our polynomial here is of degree 7 you'll often come across the word coefficient when we're talking about polynomials what do we mean by the coefficient let's just put this down okay for you if we're looking at this polynomial here and we talk about the coefficient of x it's the value in front of the term in x so you can see that it's the minus 4 so we've got the coefficient here okay let's just mark that in the coefficient okay of x okay equals minus 4 if I'm looking at the coefficient of x cubed it's going to be plus 2 the coefficient of x to the power 4 here is minus 1 and so on okay so there's a word that uh, as I say you'll come across quite a lot now I've shown you subtraction addition would just be exactly the same as doing this only this would be a plus here 
We've done multiplication of polynomials. I haven't done division. Division is a little bit more involved and you'll see this in another tutorial. And if you're looking at this video on my website, then there'll be a description, a link to algebraic long division above this video. If not, you can always go on my website and just look in the index for algebraic long division and you'll see tutorials on that. So, as always, I hope that's uh, been of some use to you and uh, that brings us now to the end of this particular video on polynomials.